freedom to do, to cause deliberate pain or harm to another human being is immoral, which means that torture is immoral. And unfortunately, in the 21st century, the last government administration in the U.S. justified torturing fellow human beings. People that have been taken from their countries of origin without charges, put into a prison on a different country, different continent, and then tortured for the pleasure of the government itself. Because torture is not an exact science. It is not a good method to acquire useful intelligence. Even the Israeli government, who would use any means possible to survive, have agreed that torture is not a useful method for gaining intelligence. The reasoning is fairly simple. If you don't break the spirit of a person that you have under your control, it will either tell you nothing, or worse, give you false information. And if you do break their spirit, and you can eventually break anyone's spirit, they will tell you anything that you want to hear, so that the torture will stop. In either case, you don't get good intelligence. So the only person purpose behind torture is because the person doing the torturing wants to. John McCain was tortured by the Vietnamese during the Vietnam War. One of the tricks he used is that when he finally revealed who the command structure he was that he belonged to, he didn't give them the military commander names. He gave them the names of his high school football team. So he wasn't lying. He had been in that command structure. But that information was useless. He was a clever man. I respect the fact that he served our country and then went on to serve our government. But he justified torturing human beings when he himself had been tortured. I can't even begin to fathom how you wrap your head around that. There is no justification for torture. There never has been. There never will be. Recently, the United States government has begun to release information about the, the period during the Bush administration where torture was justified series of memos. These memos need to be released. And they're being released slowly over time, which I think helps to not overwhelm the American people with this horrible, immoral information. I've read a number of these memos, and they're terrifying, because they are so completely and utterly banal so nitpickingly anal retentive justifying what should be done and how it should be done. One of them describes putting a person into a restriction box. During the Vietnam era we referred to those as tiger cages. And then to enhance the stress of the person in this restriction box, to place insects in the box with them telling the person in the box that the insects are dangerous, poisonous, and stinging, when in reality the insects aren't. They're harmless. But a person can find in the dark who can't move, and now has insects crawling over them, could very well be a nightmare for many people. Part of the process of breaking down the human spirit, the human mind, and scarring someone forever. And whether this person is or isn't guilty of a crime, to do that to another human being is immoral, unjust. And anyone who justifies it is immoral and unjust. I sincerely hope that eventually all the persons in the Bush administration who were involved in the torture of anyone will be put on trial, and justice will eventually be served. 
an interesting note. The end of World War II. The U.S. community, the U.S. and the international community, tried and found military leaders guilty and executed them for acts that the United States government during the Bush administration justified doing. If the Nazis and the Japanese couldn't get away with it, why can we?